Hi, this is Melini. I have all these hanging and trailing succulents that I wanted to show you. This one is a very popular one during the holidays. It's known as a Christmas cactus and is native to Brazil. Here you see all these blooms here. Now we're still actually in mid-January and it still has a lot of blooms. Um, I don't see any new buds. So this is probably at the end of its flowering season. Um, they tend to bloom sometime in the late fall to um, end of January. And we have different colors here. Show you here we have um, sort of a light faded pink and we have a bright pink or fuchsia color. Um, this is great as a indoor or outdoor hanging plant. Um, this is probably the largest I've seen it get but if you put it in a bigger pot it probably will get larger. Um, it does trail down really nicely. Um, now when you have blooms like this, this is about to fall off, you just pull those off and then um, it'll be all green for you for the rest of the year. And then um, next year, or actually not next year, actually the end of this year, um, towards the end of this year, it should start blooming again for you. Um, water about once a week outdoors, filter light, indoors, indirect light, and water about once or twice a month. This one is a poplar hanging succulent. It's known as a Senecio jacobsonii, or a weeping jade. Here you see all the, see the purplish colors there? That's caused by the sun or cold. So either you get lots of sun and water less, or it stays out in the cold, with cold temperatures, the, um, the leaves will actually turn sort of slightly purple or dark purple. So this is great outdoors, full sun, or it can be indoors and um, can get bright indirect light is fine. Um, they have pretty orange flowers as well. Now I've seen this get really long. It can get like about three to four feet long. So really trailing, good trailing segments. You need a lot of room um, for this to grow if you want it to go nice and long. And you can actually make cuttings off these. So you can just cut the stem here and then wait for that to dry and then use our, um, or use a good succulent mix that has good drainage. And then that will propagate more for you. Here we have a purple heart. Use the scientific name there, and it's native to Brazil. Now they have flowers that appear right here in the center. They're pretty bright pink flowers. So I'll show you. See so the flowers are coming out there. And this one is also a trailing succulent. I've seen it grow in the ground as a fast ground cover. I have one in my house, and it was just kind of wild looking. <laughs> if you don't trim it, it will just grow um, like all over the place in your yard. But if you wanted to maintain it, you can trim it or put it in the container and it would be a nice trailing succulent. This can take full sun or filter light. Thanks for watching.